Buen camino. Buen camino. Hola, buenos días from day three and the enchanting, beautiful woods. I love it. What is it, Saturday? Today's a 25 kilometer day with some decent terrain and inclines. I started today in the dark up a mountain with my two new pilgrim friends from Denmark and Ireland. We're having really epic intellectual conversations last night today. So it's fun to hang out with new friends. Sometimes it's good to be by yourself as a pilgrim and other times you just want to have a great conversation and laugh. <laughs> Ah, oh, today's gonna be a great day and looking forward to getting to my final town, my stage early to get some things done. Yeah, my Camino. <laughs> this is a guard cow. <laughs> okay, let me pass. You're gonna let me pass? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Blackberries. You can still find some right now. Ooh, that's good. I was a good little pilgrim and picking my blackberries, gifts of the Camino, and I almost just stuck my hand in a big spider. Amy, <laughs> don't do that. I have this game I play. Go ahead and laugh at me. It's for antioxidant protection. So I like to find easy three pieces of fruit minimum along the Camino every single day. Right now there's apples just piling up on the ground, rotting if you don't get to them soon. Beautiful apples, there's figs everywhere, blackberries. So even like end of season right now in the fall, you can still find, call it the mobile fruit salad. Doesn't it look like I'm walking into a fairy tale? That guard cow back there that graciously let me pass was actually a wild bull. They just roam around free. They used to use them for bull fighting. Uh, <laughs> never dull on the Camino. I'm now about halfway. I still have a very steep mountain to climb. And it's been a really enjoyable day. I've been having great conversations with Ireland and Denmark. And this is one of the things that I just dig about the Camino, is we go deep into who we are, no surface level. And pilgrims feel very comfortable talking to other pilgrims that they just met. That, that's a spectacular aspect of the Camino. No way around that puddle. It's back to barefoot. <laughs> this is a solid seven hour day of walking. I thought it was going to be easier. But I've been able to have really great conversations with people and just met a Ozzy was telling me about all his exciting travels. He's traveled a lot more than me. And I will manifest a walking stick today, tomorrow, because there is so much mud here from the rain. With all these downhills with rocks, it feels like I'm surfing mud. And it's kind of dangerous. And I ate it <laughs> with one of my big jumps. My uh, right arm and hands all scratched up. Yeah, time to manifest a walking stick. That was some fast manifesting. What is going on here? I just walked into this town. Some kind of party with cows. I'll have to find out. I'm staying in this old monastery or convent for an albergue. The boiler was out, so no hot water. 
gonna go check out what fiesta is happening in this town. It's fun to be back in the vast country. <laughs> this fiesta is gonna go on all night. And this peregrina needs to go to sleep. Like I mean, no.